Hello everybody, I'm back again. This is Fishlord here, and I'm back for another episode of Pokemon Black. So now, in the last episode, sadly, we had the tragedy of Lobster. I was actually really upset about that because Lobster was going to be a good powerhouse. He couldn't take hits, as we found out, but he could have could have been a really good member of the team. But afterwards we did get Boulder, and Skyplant is of course our starting Pokemon. But just to recap, Boulder is currently level 8. He has Vendor Shock, Leech Seed, Glaciate, and High Jump Kick with his ability of Marble Scale. And then we have Skyplant, who has Bubble Beam, Defense um, Curl, Quick Attack, and Poison Powder. The Poison Powder is going to become very good because of the fact that we have Venoshock on Boulder as well, so it will just be very good. And I'm sorry for the episodes not really having a lot of battling in them for the first two episodes. It's just the fact that there's a lot of story that happens in this game in the beginning couple of episodes. There's not really much I can do about that, but by now the story should start to wind down. So I should be able to get more battling in and such. She would hopefully like better. I'm gonna try high jump kick. Don't. No. Okay, good. High jump kick has a 90% accuracy, which I found kind of shocking. A little bit. So, last episode, ah, I can't even get a couple steps out of the grass. But last episode, I ended off with the um, with the battle with the girl before. Look at what she had. That's where I ended off. So I'm gonna try and complete this route now. And Boulder's level 9, which is always good. Plus 3 health, speed's plus 2, everything else plus 1. Not not terrific, but... I, oh, I forgot to, re um, to research how he evolves. Eh, whatever. But I did- wait, I did have choice specs. But I don't like the whole thing of, um only having one move that I can use, especially in the beginning. Lillipop, Lillipop, my Lillipop, go! Um, I think this little boy needs to go, oh this, sorry, girl, it's rich girl Bob. Has to go to like a mental hospital or something like that, because I'm sorry, but that's not a Lillipop. It doesn't even look like one. Um, I'm gonna go with Venoshock, because it has stab. Place the eight would be good as well, but it's not stab. Yeah, that just got decimated. Boulder's actually getting really powerful. It's over here. Is there, is there a Pokeball? There's two. Razor Claw. That's good. And a rare bone. Isn't that from like Gen 1? Rare bone. The bone is extremely valuable for. Oh, just it's sold. Oh. I'm gonna give the um. Where's to give it to? I'll give it to Skyplant. I need, do need to train up Skyplant now since she's actually weaker than Boulder. That's the thing. Skyplant is not actually. It doesn't have a gender, but I always refer to it as a girl. Oh, hi, fish. Hey, listen, you have a Pokemon battle. Uh, or let's have a Pokemon battle. Please! Pokemon I caught have been... come a lot, a little bit stronger. Ready you now? Here I come. Well, I didn't know that was going to happen now, so... Huh. Who's going to be the starting Pokemon? Poet. You're a poet? Bonsley. I do have the Bubble Beam on Skyplan, so that should be good. I should be fine with that. And Bonsley, if I remember. Wait, but the stats are randomized. Actually, I'm not sure if I did randomize stats. Because that took it off very quickly. You can see now. I'm gonna go in for Boulder. Just because Boulder's my powerhouse right now. And I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, he doesn't. I think he has a flying move. The first episode. I think he has depression. Oh! Okay, this little one is up next. So, high jump kick. 
Don't miss. Good. There we go! And it's a crit with the Razor Claw. Yes! Now we're finally starting to have some good luck. And Boulder's level 10. <laughs> Boulder, stop it. You're getting too strong. Aw, I could, I could have won. I could not win. I can't. Um, I can't do the high-pitched voice right now. <laughs> Woohoo! You are a tough cookie fish. I'm gonna work hard and train my Pokémon so we won't lose anymore. Okay. Bye bye. And she just heads back the way that she came. She doesn't even go into the town. Stratian City. Oh, I'm gonna get the Sea Gear soon. Oh, trainer, do you have enough Pokeballs? Don't be shy, take this with you. So I get a Great Ball. Didn't know that was there. You cannot have too many Pokeballs. My advice is that when you use a better Pokeball, it's easier to catch. Oh, really? You cannot beat me in a battle. <laughs> it's just a little funny thing that they still have Pokeballs even when they're old. We, we grow attached to it, don't you agree? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna board to have Pokemon battles. Abroad, sorry. Bro, your family must be talking about you right now. Okay, well... I'm, I have to verse the, um... Gym leader. Right, wait, are you looking for the gym leader? He is not here. He could be in the trainer's school. If you want to challenge him, please go find him there. The trainer's school is not far from his gym. Oh, it's right next door, but I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go heal up my Pokemon first. I feel like that would be a safe bet. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, I would. Thank you very much. I always, I always love the fact that Nurse Joy, like, this is all free. Like, it doesn't cost any money at all. Because if this was real life, they would definitely charge money. Oh, you know, well, you get to charge money to heal up your Pokemon again. This trainer school exists to meet the demands of trainers who want to know more about Pokemon because they love them. Is there anyone here I can fight? There's a technique that lets you cancel evolution. You ready? You can surprise the Pokemon and stop its evolution by pressing B. Yeah, I know this. So I don't think I don't think there's any battles here. When a Pokemon is poisoned, its health decreases while it is battling. Hey fish. Have I come looking for the gym leader? Yes, he was talking about Pokemon types until just a moment ago. Maybe you walked right past him? I don't think so, Sharon. By the way, Fish, do you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battle. Ah, uh, sure. Well, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. Anyways, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. But every single Pokemon battle is going to get rough eventually. But by poet, what's with everyone being poets? A chop. Okay. Well, I don't have any super effective moves against the chop. I sent out Sky Plant first. Oh, you double beam. And that doesn't do much. Fire pledge? Oh shoot. I never miss when you think you can attack first. It's sure about the types of moves. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use poison powder because this might be a damage over time battle again. It's shaman, like sky plant. Fire pledge. Why do you know fire pledge? It does 8 damage too. I'm just gonna. Maybe after the next one, I'm gonna heal up with the potion. Cross poison. Yeah, I need to heal up. Oh my gosh. How many potions do I have? I have five. That should be fine for this battle, but I might have to get some more potions afterwards. Since, apparently everything has something that's super effective against Shaman. Or, Skyplant. And I'm poisoned now. Great. I don't think... I might have to go out. I think he's going to use the cross poison, so I'm not worried. But he does have the fire pledge, which I'm worried about. On Boulder. Yeah, cross poison. Okay, so that was fine. That was a good, safe switch. But now... I use Venoshock and Venoshock. Because I don't want to risk any moves missing. Okay, so Machop's out of the way. Good. 
Order 60, Sky Plan, is now level 9. Health's plus 4, Special Defense plus 4. So, Sky Plan's just a tank, it's not really an attack. More stuff. Um, well, I have to keep you in. But now, I'm pretty sure the ground sweep to ice. So, let's try this. Come on. Come on, Boulder. Come on, Boulder. That did nothing. Cross No, cross Oh, shit, he's gonna be able to battle. I'm going- I'm gonna need to go for deep seed. Since I need that recovery. Every turn. And Frost Breath. I forgot that he knows Frost Breath. Most Pokemon know an ice move for some reason. Another- You got two crits in a row. That's not fair, bud. I want to go for high jump kick, but I want to go for jump. I could try and swap out and then get the poison powder. That was a crit, okay. I think I should survive this, I should be fine. How much health is your You got three crits in a row! What? I have to heal up. Nope. Heal up. Wow. Three crits. It might- it's not gonna die this. Four crits. Four crits. What the heck? Okay, well this is gonna kill her now. Sheesh. Sharon's pretty powerful. Gotta say, she's not someone to mess around with. Order's level 10. These boulder speedy too, which is good. Losing you means that I still have a lot to learn. Okay, well I need to buy more potions now. So learning to use items well is definitely important. Though. Okay, here, fish. I'll give you these berries. I keep on forgetting to do his voice. Sorry about that, but... If you give a Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, it will eat it to heal up when its health gets down in battle. But if you give Pokemon man-made items like potions to hold, they can't use them. Well, good luck then. Well, you're just gonna sit here and study more? You know, half the thing of Pokemon is you can't just sit indoors studying. So, I forget which... I forget which starter Shaman actually was. Because depending on the starter, I'm gonna get a different gym leader. And hopefully he doesn't know any ice moves. <laughs> because apparently everything knows ice moves. And my team's weak to ice. Sadly. I might try to get an extra... Do I want to try and get a Pokemon right now? Can I? Oh, apparently I'm battling. Well, we, we are training here. Now let's trade Pokemon together. Okay. Challenge by Lazy Lawrence. Ditto! Ooh! Well... I kind of wanted to do something right now. I'm going to poison powder it, so I get the damage over time, and because it's going to just transform. Its only move is sand attack. I forgot the fact that the moves were randomized. Well, I'm glad I used poison powder now because this is going to be a long battle. If its only move is sand attack. That was a crit. Oh no, he knows Hydro Pump as well? That's weird. I was to learn Hydro Pump. I thought I only learned one move. And that was Transform. So how did I learn Hydro Pump? Oh no, I because I clicked the button where every Pokemon has four. Um because in the beginning of the game, it asked me, do you want to have it so every Pokemon starts with four moves? And I clicked yes because one time I was randomizing the game. And a Pokemon only had one move, and it was hard. And it was my starting Pokemon, so I couldn't, I couldn't get any other Pokemon that whole game. So I wanted to this game. I should be using Skyplant. 
But so I made it so that every Pokemon has four moves. And apparently, yeah, apparently now Ditto has four moves. It's a grass type. Now. Well, and a shock. And that, there it goes. But yeah, why am I using Boulder? Boulder needs to like settle down. It's getting a little bit too powerful. But now my question is, do I want the? Well, I'm not even able to get the Pokemon over here. All right. Well. Or do I want to train up before the gym? I might train up before the gym. Yeah. My goal is to outperform gym leaders. Can you win against me? Uh, I hope I do, or else if I don't, then I lose the lock. And that's never good. Rich girl Donna. Leader and male. Double beam. I don't have any other move. I need to keep him in. Poison types can't get poisoned, so... Can't use poison powder. Wild charge. I didn't know that... Yeah, no, I was just about to say, I didn't know it get that move. Or I, didn't, I didn't know that it gets that move, and I'm like, I keep on forgetting the fact that all the moves are randomized. But yep, now Leader and Fainted. Okay, now Sky Plant's level 10 now, finally. It just keeps gaining defense. It just got plus three. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Did Skyplant just seriously learn that move? Whoa, Skyplant! You're getting good now. Oh my gosh! That's the only um problem about Roar Time. You have to spend one turn. You know, recharging afterwards when um, spatial. I forget what the um, Palkium move is. Spatial. Spatial Ren, that's it. Spatial Ren doesn't have to recharge. So, in the battle between Dialga or Palkia, Palkia would win. I'm just gonna keep this in. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try and use Roar Time now. Or Bubble Beam Roar Time actually afterwards, because I wanna see the animation now. So I could have probably killed it with Roar Time if Bubble Beam had did that much. Attack Rose. Okay. Roar Time. Eh, its animation's not as cool as Dragon Breath, but it's still pretty cool. My Pokemon fought well, didn't they? Yeah, but you lost. Hey, hey you, what was the first Pokemon you received? Shaman, really? Then Grovile could be a big help. Your Shaman does not do well against water type. Pokemon, say, do you want this Grovile mine? Yes, please. If you can, or it can use grass type moves so that makes it great against water types. Oh yeah, Shaman was fire type, I forgot about that. So I just got a Grovile, sweet. And this actually does count as an encounter because it's static Pokemon I automatically give that and those are randomized so what am I gonna call him I'm gonna name him Swiper because I always think of like from Dora the Explorer like Swiper no swiping he looks like the type of person that would just come over like swipe some something from you and just keep walking <laughs> swipe Swipper Swipper swipe I'll be right back actually I want to see Ah, actually no, I'll just name it Swipper. Swipe. No, I think it has... I think it... It's just this, I think. Swipe. Er, there we go. If it's not, I'm sorry. That's what I'm naming it. If you have many types of Pokemon, sometimes um, something will work out no matter what kind of Pokemon you have to face. Sweets, now I have Swiper on my team. Level 10, too. Lightning Rod. Draws in all electric types. Moves... Oh, sweet. Ice burn. Ice burn. In second turn, an ultra cold freezing wind. Oh, it's a, it's a two turn move. Okay. Pin missile. Alright. Echoed voice. And fury swipes. Is it special attack? It is special attack. So, it. it I did randomize. Wait. Did I give. I gave him. Why did I give him the, um. Oh, whatever. Um, but... So I just got Damp Rock as well. 
Wow. I really do like having the randomized games. Like, it's get through this door. Because <laughs> it really just adds a whole new feel for the game, and you enjoy, in my opinion, a lot more. Because I always liked being able to, um... Pokemon can be found in dark places, too. That's when Decibel can do the trick. Here's one for you. Not shady at all. But, um... Dusk Ball works well at night or in a cave. Plus, its name is excellent. The Dusk Ball. Dusk. But, um... Yeah, I always liked being able to have a variety on your team. And in this, you do really well. Like, because since your Pokemon are randomized, you can get... It's all... Like, you're not getting Pokemon from just one gen or of one type in the beginning, then you have to go... And it's all just random, which I like. You, can, you can't plan ahead and be like, okay, well, this is going to be the grass gym, so I need to have all fire types, or like that. So it's, in my opinion, a lot better. Yes, yes, I'm a gym leader of this town. You are? Right. You want to challenge the gym? In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Tepig. Nope, sorry, it wasn't. I see. It's weak against water type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. Okay, well, I'm on the first gym now. I'm gonna... I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna verse all the... I don't know how many trainers there is and how much it's gonna take up. But I think what I'm gonna verse all the trainers and then in the next episode we're gonna verse the gym. Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. I did like how you did get fresh waters. Speaking of which, I need potions. Um... Water. Wrong one. Wait, what? Oh, am I supposed to type in the weaknesses? Right now? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Welcome to the Stratian Gym. Care for a taste of battle? I'll serve up for the I'll serve up for the first course. Is that what it said? Huh. You're challenged by Gymnast Sonia. Clink. Steel. Um I don't think I have anything good against that. Uh... Maybe there's one Pokemon though, which is good. I can't poison him. I'm gonna try Bubble Beam and get him down. Then I can really Aqua Tail. Okay. So I have. Wait. <laughs> I just realized. I have two Grass types on my team and one Bug type. I have such a huge weakness to Ice types and Fire types right now. Roar time! But yeah, I'm not sure right now. I might train up sweat. That's a nothing. And it's using world time against me now. Ugh. I'm so smart. I knew I had mirror move too. I must recharge. It must recharge. Bubble Beam did more to it than Roar Time. Because it's oh, it's Dragon! Dragon's weak to steel. Wow, that just completely left my mind. Okay then, well. Well, Sky Plant at least grew to level 11. Defense plus 3. Okay. Yo! He says yo! <laughs> yo! Uh, Ward is weak to grass. Wait, oh, sorry, I need to call. Okay, I'm back. But. I'm not sure if after this. I think after this one's the gym leader. I might end this episode a little bit early, because I do want to verse the gym leader in the next episode, to begin with. The specialty of Stratian Gym, the false course trainer deluxe. I'll actually be right back, I'm getting a call. Okay, sorry about that, I just got a really important call. But anyways, the specialty of Stratian Gym, the false course trainer deluxe. I'm your second course. Wait. Nah, I'm not gonna dig into that quote. That, no. I'm challenged by Breeder Robin. That's even worse. <laughs> that joke could have gone so much. Like, it cut into a completely different direction. This drought. What? Stronger. Rolla has drought. I did not expect that at all. But now, hopefully, he doesn't have a fire move. This twister. 
for the dragon, it's not bad. Bubble Bee. I do need to um, get the Swiper in, though. Swiper is now lower than Sky Plant. Chimchar. You have a Chimchar? I have to keep it because it's water. Oh, that's amazing. I love Chimchar. Chimchar is one of my favorite Pokemon. My only problem with it is the fact that it's really weak. No side shock. But yeah, Chimchar, that was always one of my favorites. Who knows Wigan? Dude, everything seems to have a flying move or an ice move. Psy Shock. I, I think I, that it's not a big deal. Okay. Bubble Bee. And it's still not killing. If he gets a crit right now, I'm going to cry. No. It's only doing 4 damage as well, so... And there goes my favorite Pokemon. Bye, Chimchar. His cry is so cool. That was one of your most popular dishes. Or our most popular dishes. Did you enjoy the battle? Yeah, I did. Yeah, this is the gym leader now. So... Guys, um, I'm just gonna go quickly heal up right now. And I'm gonna be back then. In the next episode, I'm going to uh, battle the gym leader since it's 20, it's 26 minutes in right now. So I don't want to get this video to be too long, and I feel like it'll be a really good starting point for the next gym. And I'm gonna recap beforehand who was in my party, so don't worry about that. But anyway guys, I hope that you guys all enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like, because it just lets me know the fact that you enjoy this series and you're wanting to see more. If you don't like this series so far, please feel free to um, leave a dislike. Actually, I'm just going to do this little part first. Welcome to Stratian City Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I love Chili. Chili is my favorite. It's one of my favorite foods. I like things up with fire type Pokemon. I'm a water type specialist. My name is Chris. Pleased to meet you, uh, to make your acquaintance. And my name is Cillian. Cillian. I can't say names. I like grass type Pokemon. Um, you see, as for why the three of us, um, are all here, it is, well, uh, oh, enough. Listen up. The three of us will decide whom you battle. It'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case. And the partner you first chose was fire type, it seems. That is correct. I shall be and my esteemed warrior types that you will face in battle. Okay, so guys, I'll see you all in the next episode.